Sharks. I'm Chet Weiler from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Woo. My company is Over Easy Chicken Coops, and this is my pal, Chuckles. <laughs> All right, Chuckles, you get in there. Lay me some eggs, would you? <laughs> All right. Sharks, it's no secret. America is crazy for backyard chickens right now. Families want more sustainable living and self-reliance, and they love having fresh, organic eggs every day. Plus... Backyard chickens bring joy to families as kids and grandkids make lifelong memories caring for these adorable pets. That's why we created Overeasy Chicken Coops. Our proprietary modular coops are easy to ship and easy to assemble. All you need is 30 minutes, a screw gun, and two people to assemble your Overeasy Coop. We offer four different sizes that perfectly accommodate between five and 20 chickens. America is so cuckoo for these coops that <laughs> we can hardly keep up with the demand. We're chickens running around with our heads cut off. <laughs> Sorry, Chuckles. <laughs> Sharks, I need a partner so I can finally stop having all my eggs in one basket. <laughs> so, who wants to acquire 4% of Overeasy Chicken Coops for an investment of $1 million? Oh! Oh, okay, that's some chickens. Okay, I love, I actually, if it was that easy, I would love to have some chickens. Uh, I think my dad has. No, he doesn't have to. He had bunnies or something. But but they had like a similar type of house thing built on the side. Uh, he's got like a, a farm thing with like horses and stuff. But anyway, there actually is a house that's not like like not too far from me that has a chicken coop out in front of like they – it's like they have like this – I don't know. They have like an extended front yard that's kind of like the backyard, like off to the side. I don't know how to explain it. But they have chickens in their own coop. And when I go running – uh, you know, frequently go by there and, and you can see the, the chickens like, you know, clucking around out there. And, uh, yeah, that, so I, I think it's neat. Like I, I'm like, I, we checked out their website on the preview video. We're gonna check out their website and social media at the end of this video. But, uh, the prices seem pretty reasonable to me and they're not assembled, but Hey, two people and a, and a, and a drill it sounds pretty simple to me. I, I think I, I don't know if we're going to get into the, the, the chicken farm thing, but I know that a lot of people really love having fresh eggs. And I know that my neighbors around me would probably also love having eggs. So if we had eggs, they would probably want eggs. And all of a sudden it's like, you start up your own egg business just when you're like literally on your block. I like, I like that idea almost as much as I like heading over to shopsuperjoe.com to check out the ABCs, which is apparel like I'm wearing right here. Like they got the I got the Ding Ding shirt over here. That's a limited edition. That will be going away soon. We have the New Year's uh, sale going on. So you got your A, your apparel, your B, books like my Sales Won't Save Your Business book or How to Dream Big and Win, I Self Empower, Joe Pardo's 31 Life Changing Concepts, uh, all books I wrote available digitally and in print form. Uh, as well as courses and master classes and one on one coaching all over at shopsuperjoe.com. Why this and is worth 25 million? I mean, dollars. he's only four points away from for zero. First of all, our IP is locked down and the cash register is ringing, and we've only just begun. We are on a path to become the category king for backyard chickens in America. And with your help, maybe, or anybody else who's interested, we will expand to Europe, where the interest in backyard chickens is even stronger than in the United States. Chet, you're one crazy chicken. What are these? Are we supposed no, to open no, no, these? No, no. Hold on, hold on. I can't go by that. Literally last week, Mar Robert, or Kevin said the same thing. Uh, but we weren't talking about chickens. We were talking about beanies with lights in them. Uh, and I guess he's not, uh, uh, Chet's not going to take the, the offense to that. Uh, but I will I also, I want to point out like Lancaster County is not, or Lancaster, you know, Pennsylvania is not far from where I live. I've frequented it there many of times as a kid and as an adult, uh, love it out there. Love the Amish and, uh, the Amish markets out there and, and all that. So, uh, very, very much uh, have a lot of respect there for that. Can I just say I opened the egg? I was all excited thinking I was going to get something wonderful. <laughs> it is wonderful. I mean, it's nice. It's a little brochure. It talks about quick facts about your business. There is some golden information in there. Okay, so how much have you sold? 
Oh, you want numbers? I got numbers. This week, we surpassed 21 million in sales. Wow. Lifetime, wow. lifetime wow. last lifetime. month. And oh. year to date, 9 million. Yep. Year to date, and, yes, 9 year to date. million. And best of all, 1.35 million in profit. Which, if you do the math, you know our EBITDA is 15%. It should have been 18. Why wasn't it? So that uh, that <laughs> that's uh, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, uh, and amortization. I don't know if I'm saying that word right. Amortization. Anyway, uh, Mark <laughs> Mark seems uh, a so. I guess the 1.3 million profit is from the 9 million in sales. I'm going to say hopefully that's not over the $21 million in lifetime sales. I hope. Because of the supply chain issues that we had, lumber prices, you know, went up fourfold. Yeah. True. Um, Chad, I was not expecting those kind of numbers. How are you selling $9 million? Ah, it breaks my heart. We were not ready. COVID, it spiked big time. And we had the frustrating situation where we could not fill orders. We did not have enough coops. Got it. So we missed out on millions of dollars in sales. Despite that, 6.8 million in sales last year. Wow. How much did you net on that? Oh, uh, okay. Well, last year was about 12%. So going from 6.8 to nine through six months is a big step, mm -hmm. right? What are you even doing? What am I? Oh. Yeah, what are you looking at? Oh, I was trying to make sure I cover everything. And well, go ahead and make sure. There we go. I'm sorry. So how are you paying for all this inventory? I am here to raise money for more inventory. We're going to need it. But have you raised... Hold on a second. That that was a weird... That, like, that, that, that seemed kind of unnecessary unless it's going to play later in the story here uh that's yeah that's that was that was all awkward is money and who are your partners and how much of your company do you still own i own 100 percent actually oh. i bought the company last june 30th and that's when i owned 68 percent i didn't tell you i'm from the amish country in pennsylvania oh but back to your question about covid we missed the covid bump Last year could have been well over 10 million if we hadn't had enough coops. I'd like to go back to the numbers. Just give me the last three years in revenue. 2019 was 2.2 million. 2020 was 6.8 million. Wow. This year we'll probably do 20 million. You got a big ramp going in here. That uh, takes. Uh, wait, uh, hold on a second. Am I miss? Am I missing something? Because uh, first he said it was nine million, with a 1.3 million in profit for what I thought was this year. But I guess it was last year in 20, 2020 because this was filmed in 2021. So, uh, and now it's 2020. It's like, God, the, the time warp is ridiculous. So I'm thinking uh, that, okay, he's talking about tw he's talking about 2022 sales. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not missing something because it seems like it's bouncing around a lot. Uh, and I hope it's not, I hope that's coming through on your end. Capital, because there's a, there's a CapEx to this business. You got to make this stuff. How did you raise the money? So I had to do creative finance to support the POs and receivables. We were able to borrow against all the POs that we had. It all worked out great in the second quarter, paid everyone back. But now we're facing much greater opportunity along those lines. And that's one of the challenging things about this business. Chet, I've got to understand some basic things. So number one, I don't know what that costs. The large is $18.99, the medium is $14.99, and the small is $10.99. Our overall gross profit margins are about 36%. So COVID did have a heavy did part. have an so, impact. So on the one hand, you said it had a negative effect on you because you didn't have supply chain. We missed out. But you didn't miss out. That's right. <laughs> uh, All right, well, you get what I'm saying. You are... It, it looks like Mark... Mark feels as confused as I am, and and Chet, I would love to have you come on the show. I'd love, like, I actually, I would love to come out to Lancaster and uh, and and get to interview you in person, like I did uh, with Dino Don from season twelve. If you haven't watched that interview, uh, go go back to the channel page, you know, the Super Joe Parra channel page, uh, and go down to the second playlist, and then scroll over to the right, and you will find Dino Don, where I went out to his house from like. It's the 1700s, uh, 1784, I think it was built, or s something like that. And uh, yeah, and that was really, really cool. I ch I'd love to come out and check out the uh, all the chicken coops and the uh, manufacturing process and all that, and and do a video. So please reach out in the comments below, and we'll we'll, we'll make that happen. Suggesting that I was uh, 
inconsistent in my answer. Here's the thing. Yes, we missed the COVID bump. I, I swear we could have sold three, four million more last year when we did 6.8 million. Could have been 10 if we would have had enough coops. But now right. we have a factory set up in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We have one down in Dublin, Georgia, Central Georgia, and in Colorado. So we can hit the whole, whole uh, country. So I would like you to answer for me in two sentences why Europe would want your coop more than the coops they have over there. Most of what's available in Europe and in the United States are frankly cheap imports. And we came up with this beautiful coop in a box. So and it is selling big time. And already 700 units have sold. But back to Europe. What we know is that in Europe they have backyard chickens more, but you're wondering how is it that we could compete in that market? Well, Same as no, here. I, I said in two sentences, I mean, just being fair, when you're selling something, you need to be able to tell people in a couple of sentences what it is and why it's great. It's a knockdown high quality coop. Quality is great, but it's not a strong enough differentiator. And unfortunately, I have to be out. Oh, that, that, is, that is tough. So what I would... Uh, what I'm I'm curious that, and that no one's asked the question is what was the shipping on this because I I didn't actually like I looked at the price bef in the preview but I didn't actually look at what the shipping on this was and I was so I wasn't sure if they were shipping it whole or if they're shipping it uh, in pieces for you to put together I I can't imagine it would be cheap to ship but it's got to be easier to put together than like me going to Home Depot and then buying the wood and then like buying like on Etsy the plans to build a, my own chicken coop. Uh, I mean, that would probably that part would be cheap. It's it's all the figuring it out, getting all the screws. And if everything came in a package, I'm willing to bet that it, depending on how much the shipping costs, it's I, and someone someone's going to say, that, oh, no, no, I could build that for like a 100 bucks or something like that. Maybe. Maybe you could, but would it look as nice? Would would it go together as easy? Would it take thirty minutes to put together? I, that's the kind of things that is a differentiator that, you know, really and it, and a quality piece at that uh, that that really makes a makes a difference. I I could I, I could I could I could see it. I could see what it. is the lifespan of a chicken? <laughs> Five to ten years. My fear with going into business with you is it is going to take me longer than the lifespan of a chicken to find out the details of your business. Now, before you go out, I got to talk to you about Europe. You didn't have me over here with Europe. You you really catapulted me into not well, Let me tell you this. Look, Robert, I, listen. The most valuable thing in my life is my time. I don't want to spend it learning about your business. I'm out. Okay, Chet, let me take a stab at it, all right? I love revenue. I yeah. think your presentation uh, was a little wandering. Do you think? <laughs> but you got a lot of revenue here. I'll make you an offer. Um, I'll give you the million bucks in debt because you need capital. I'll take the 4% equity, and I want to pay back over three years. The average right now is 11.5%. That capital will let you do what you want to do stateside. I don't know what you're talking about in Europe, but that's your decision. I don't control the business. But that's an offer. At least you can peck on that one. <laughs> All right. A million bucks. Yeah, there's a waka waka, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, that it, it's better than nothing. I mean, Damon is the, the bee farmer, and I know he's more uh, probably into something along this lines of having chickens. He, maybe he already has chickens, but I, I, I could see him being – I don't know if he's going to be interested in a million dollars, but, uh, you know, I yeah, 11.5% is – it's a lot, but you're you're asking for a million dollars, and you, you get to have Mister Wonderful. That I mean, that there's something you know that definitely something to be said for that. But he, I don't see him as the spokesperson for it, though. Maybe I don't. Mm. And you know, the added bonus is you get Mister Wonderful, the shark, which could really yeah. help blow this business up big time. Because I just love chicken. I like it with cream sauce. I like it roasted. <laughs> Oh, stop. <laughs> Check, um, a family pet, you're already sir. cash constrained, to Kevin's point, and now you want to go out and effectively have to build factories around the world starting in Europe because you can't just ship everything over there and somebody's going to have to make them, so you have the capital expense of doing that. A million dollars, whether it's debt or equity, isn't going to allow you to keep up with your growth. I think you're coming in talking overseas in Europe because you think that sounds good to us. I don't think you've really projected it out, so for those reasons, I'm out. You know, Chad, I... I, I think that the, the Europe thing... Uh, look, I, look, this is edited, right? And I'm sure that 
the, his pit, you know, Chet, I'm sure you were out there for a lot, probably longer than 45 minutes, right? And I, I think that the opportunity of Europe is awesome, but there's just, I mean, there's so many households in America that could afford this and want this. And I think that there's a lot of people that, you know, look, today going to this, to my you know my wife was going to go uh pick up some more groceries because like thing you know the the supply chain at our local local grocery stores has not been great so you know get it, the opportunity to get chicken has not been there uh every time we've gone to to get food so when we have the opportunity to get like extra chicken nuggets or extra uh you know chicken or or any kind of meat product we, we just take advantage of it and we have the extra fr freezer space thanks to, well, thanks to the illness, we we put it in there, right? We, we went and got a, an extra refrigerator just to be able to store extra excess food for like when things get kind of slow over at the at the grocery store. And, and you know, to have an opportunity, yeah, okay, I, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not slaughtering chickens anytime soon, but, you know, to collect eggs and, and, and make, make, breakfast out of it or whatever else you're going to make with the eggs is is an opportunity to have fresh eggs um i could see a lot of people getting behind that and for eleven hundred dollars it also teaches you know kids to like be with animals and there's a whole like science behind that as well you're asking a million dollars for four percent i think we all know here that as you said materials have just been brutal yeah that's the problem i think your margins are going to shrink well the materials came down yeah, they did. Yep, it's all settled now. They've come way down. I don't think it's settled. Our, our margins will go up. I believe the materials will still go up, and I don't like your valuation. So what valuation would make you comfortable? Because I'm here to help you make money. Damon, that's a good million. offer. <laughs> Throw out a number. 25%. <laughs> Are you making an offer? Yeah, a million dollars for 25%. Um, let me see. You three are out. Yes, and you have you a have, real you have offer. Two, you have two I'm offers. bringing you back in. <laughs> Let me explain. May I have two minutes to please explain something? I can't Don't very... speak to Rob. Robert's out. out. I know, but I, I got to tell him something. I got to tell him it's a commercial break. <laughs> For his business, over easy focused on Robert. Don't speak to Ro Robert. Get out. out. I know, but I, I got to tell him something. No, please don't. No, you should be talking to him. Why are you here? You're doing him. exactly what he said. You're making it confusing. All right, oh, you're no, scaring uh, us. Damon, I want to hear what he was going to say. Go ahead, Chad. Bear with me. I have gone to Europe many times because we were looking there at expanding there, our yeah. business over there. So next week, I'm flying to Prague, and if they are interested, there's there's this amazing folks. And by the way, in the Czech Republic and in Eastern Europe, I just Europe, want to say one thing, guys. okay? One yes. thing, I can actually speak chicken. Yep. Those chickens are saying right now, Chet, why don't you get focused on the two offers? Okay. Instead of talking to a guy that's been out for 15 minutes. I'm gonna have to counter on yours. I want both you guys. I'd love to say yes to Mr. Wonderful there in terms of the debt doesn't bother me because we're so profitable, but I need to ask you one question. Yeah. There might be another million or two that we need in PO support that the banks won't give no, me. I understand. My answer is always the same to every entrepreneur. I support all my companies, okay? Yeah. Our interests are aligned. I want you to succeed. The answer is, of course. If you actually come in with business that makes sense and I can make more money with my 4%, I'm going to support you. That's what I do with all my entrepreneurs. You know, I'm not in love with your European strategy. I don't get it. You're, there's so much opportunity stateside. Yeah, particularly but, since you need cash for POs, right? You're not going to have any money left over for European expansion. Chad, I, I, I asked you not to entertain him, which, you know, you're, you're a grown man. You can do whatever you want, but you have two offers on the table. You just keep getting distracted. And I just got to say that I think that is exactly what it's going to be in business with you. So I like you, but I'm out. I mean, Damon's offer of 25%, you know, was, was probably not going to happen, right? I mean, you, like, severely cutting down the uh, the opportunity there. Plus, I mean, look, there's so many opportunities. Like, he has off the side there, like, the feeder and the waterer. And that's a, that you know, all these things. Like, you could, like, get into selling the feed and selling all these things, like, through, you know, over the Internet and selling them direct and making a, a decent profit margin on that and having those customers like keep coming back 
and then offering you know the content strategy so that you're you're like informing people like how to get started with it and and go uh, go bigger with it, right? Start with the small, and then oh yeah, you know, let's get you to the extra large, right? Or get you the large, or whatever. Like let's get you the next one, or let's get a second small one going, because now you have all your neighbors are are doing the chicken thing. I, you know, one thing I I would have liked them to ask, and maybe they did, but it got cut. Was what is the price of a chicken? I don't I don't know what I don't know what that is. Uh, what you know what the going rate for a chicken is at this point. So. There, there's that cost as well, not including your feed and not including, you know, water and, and time and energy and all that. But uh, I, I still think it's a great idea. I just, you know, it's just tough, right? Like going, do the, the, the whole Europe thing, I, I think works. I think, I think it could work. I, I mean, obviously you would know better than probably the sharks, right? Because they're mostly stateside, especially in the last two years. Uh, so... I don't think that you know they're as interested about the the potential for expansion and and I think that when you're talking about like missed opportunities you know if you came out there and you said hey I did 9 million dollars in sales right last year awesome full stop could have probably did more we ran into some supply issues like that that is enough right to 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 get their attention i mean if you've watched enough episodes you know what they're looking for and what they're you know what gets them excited now the going into other markets as far as like going overseas i mean presents so many other uh obstacles right there's different laws there's different uh different cultures that have to like work through and in europe it's a lot of different cultures i mean not that america doesn't have you know different cultures mixed in in areas but then each area has their own cult like over arch you know arching uh culture as well in different parts of the country so i i, I don't know i i feel like it, you know it, it seems like it's trying to justify the the really pie in the sky um valuation that it's not that I don't think it's worth, you know, twenty five million uh, at at the time, especially if you sold on the on the sales of the other stuff, right? The the feed or the the, the actual feed, whatever else you hey, whatever it is that you keep, you know, you need to support your your chickens. Like over easy's got you covered, right? That and that, and even if you can get in like recurring sales, uh, like a subscription model type of thing, would be awesome. Well, then it's just the two of us, Mr. Wonderful, That's isn't right. It? For now. For now. <laughs> Do you want to get together in this or not? Mr. Wonderful, I want to say yes to your offer as long as you are going to support the other POs. I'm not guaranteeing you that right now because I don't know enough about your income statement and balance sheet. But I told you, I support my companies. The offer I'm making you right now is the million dollars. Oh, no, I'm accepting that. We have a deal. Well, then all right. have, forget all the rest then of the what's noise. what's the what? Yeah. Are you done? I just wanted to talk with Robert a little bit about our designs in <laughs> Eastern Europe. He's out. Get I wanted to come back in. Come on, let me talk to him. Wait a second. Don't you want someone from Europe who has a passion for helping <laughs> create jobs he's behind? He's not really from Europe. He's been here a very long time. <laughs> Robert, been here a very long is time. Alan Fudd around here? Is this candid camera? <laughs> Go on. All right, if you say so. But Robert, come on. I wanted us to do special things in Europe. All right. could even Chet, I I'm with you. Chet, I'm out. Oh, really? I said yes, yes though. I yes, said yes. Kevin, yes, I'm thank out. you. You do not understand when a guy offers you a million dollars, but then you start talking to a guy that's out. I was the only shark to offer you a million dollars. The and only said, yes. one that was going to find your business after everybody else dropped out. And then you say, oh, no, I want to talk to Robert about Czechoslovakia? No, that is... <laughs> that, I just wanted to have that... I said yes to you. No, I'm out. I'm out. You got to go, Chet. Oh, Good luck, Good Chet. Good luck, Chet. Well, thank you. And I hope that uh, you'll enjoy Backyard Chicken someday if you want this. Have a good day. Bye, Chet. Oh, well, it man. looked like I had a shark, but then he swam away because I got distracted in talking to Robert after Mr. Wonderful was going to step up. So that was a strategic error. Wow. wow. What the f was that? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like that, ever. I'm not even checking.
<laughs> oh god uh he, he he is definitely not czechoslovakian i know we have some czech uh czech republic people that watch this channel which is the you know shout out to them and uh and croatian people as well watching uh this channel so uh i i you know i it didn't didn't go well uh apparently but i i still would love to to go and check out the operation and talk and learn more i love seeing faces and right here right in the hero image we got faces we got chickens i i love it that's that's awesome to see so in stock ready to ship uh looks like the price has gone up a little bit since they aired they have a shed kit in a box for thirty five hundred dollars uh so 1200 15.99 so we're 1600 2000 and they have an extra large for uh up to 20 chickens for three grand coop in a box up to five chickens uh for 1200 bucks so you get the extra kit it seems like a a, a good starter kit uh it seems small i guess kind of small for five five chickens um i'm curious about the shipping though so uh shipping discounts codes calculate at checkout so i'd have to go into checkout but let's see what other accessories they have so they have the coop electrical heat kit yeah because now, now you got to run electricity to it as well to be able i guess to keep it warm if you're not in a warm place uh you can get we the wheels the wheels are 449 dollars. i feel like there's an apple joke just waiting to be made there about that and then you can get the wire panels this is actually i mean it's cool, like, but that that they have like the starter kit. Is that is, but is it enough to get you? I guess that gets it off the ground, but it doesn't have a wire uh, frame under it. But you could like get chicken wire pretty cheap. They have a uh, run, so you could get like a chicken chicken run cage, which I guess is like from that movie Chicken Run. Uh, feeder and water. I mean, that by the time you add all this stuff up, like that, that would absolutely be uh quite a a venture uh this is definitely not cheap uh cheap. and i'm sure again I, I don't know what the cost of the chickens are it's kind of a shame they don't sell chickens as well uh let's check out their social media so we got thirteen thousand people following their facebook page great to see love robert really uh loving the loving the chicken there uh this, this is great uh yeah they got some some engagement yesterday in january 26th 25th so that somebody's doing their their social media they're definitely getting some some engagement out of that on instagram they got 1148 i'm curious as to what they're doing to get found and let, i mean maybe it's just it's like strictly seo uh they got some engagement here on the instagram facebook or sorry youtube a uh, handful of videos six months ago. How many how many views has it got? 172,000. That's pretty. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, here on you can buy it on Amazon. So if I click on here, let's see if is there 83 reviews, four and a half stars for an extra large. It's uh, 19. What's the what's the is it show shipping? It doesn't show shipping but they can get it with monthly payments 18 18 months no interest i guess like with the amazon credit card uh yeah 1926 so it's actually the large the large is a little bit cheaper on amazon which is surprising because uh that well that's strange like you, you could buy it from where's this oh, this is from amazon and then if you buy it from them there's 125 dollars shipping on top of the two grand uh for the chicken coop Really neat. I mean, if you wanted to get involved with it, uh, here you go. Is is the is the house insulated for winter in Wisconsin? Is not insulated. We do not recommend insulating, but rather put a heat lamp inside. If it gets too hot, you run the risk of bacteria buildup. Oh, that's yeah, that's that's really uh, interesting. That not something I would have thought of. Unloading tips: If you don't have a helper, see video and buyer beware. The coop costs less from over easy includes free shipping huh well uh majority 81 percent loving the product that's good to see um 
Anyway, it's also good to see is comments like this one from DeAndre Holland, who says applying to jobs on one monitor and watching your videos on the other. Much respect to Mark. Ding, ding. I love the fact uh, you uh, that you were, uh, I think uh, DeAndre said he was applying. Uh, oh, yeah, applying to jobs. <laughs> God. All right. Yeah. No, that is awesome. Look, being super doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be an entrepreneur. We have lots of non entrepreneur people watching this channel, and that is awesome. Look, it's all about bringing the best out of you and the people around you, as well, you know, as well as your business, uh, you know, and your life as a whole. That's what being super is all about. And I love seeing people learning with us, with me at the same time, uh, and being a part of the super community. So good job, DeAndre. I hope you uh, get the job that you're looking for. I know uh, we had an exchange in the comments and all. But anyway, I'll see you in one of these two videos right here. Have a great night. Take care and go be, go be super. I bit my tongue.